Um, yeah, I brought the test back home with the uh, hope that I might mark some of the stuff, but that was just not possible. Um, so anyways, now in terms of question 2C, 2C, the 4y minus 13 equals minus 6y plus 7. So um, what, what page have done um, uh, that she have put on the board? She has added a line plus 6y on both sides, uh, on both sides of the equation, and then you still have minus 13 and plus 17. So what was done, uh, the calculation part was correct in terms of the final answer being y equal to 2. But I think the how the work is shown, uh, if I remember from the video, now I'm going to do it both ways. Okay, I'm going to show both methods. So according to the video, what the, Noel, look up here, Olivia. So according to the video, what they said was this. They said, oh, we're going to have to move this minus 6y to the other side, or they have to add. Uh, so in this case, they will have add 6y here and add 6y here. And so in this case, you have a line being shown. And then in this case, you can see basically you're doing the vertical method of, in this case, 4y plus 6y gives you 10y. And you still have the minus 13 equals minus 6y plus 6y. That will be 0. So you have 7y left. Okay. And then you want to move the number, the minus 13, to the other side. So you put a plus 13 here. Opposite of the minus 13 is plus. And then you also have to do a plus 13 on the right-hand side. So my... Minus 13 plus 13, that gives you 0. And you have 10y equals 20. So y equals 20 divided by 10, which is 2. Okay, So that's, very, that's pretty much what they done on the video. Now, in the video, uh, remember, all the, opposite, uh, all the opposite operation. So for example, minus 6y, the opposite of it is plus 6y. They are doing it vertically, so organizing things in like terms and then put it underneath. And then you, they use a line to separate. So in this case, I know now this is the new line. So if you're going to use the vertical method like in the video like that, make sure you have a line in between like this step. Okay. So now I know it's like, oh, this is a new line after you kind of move the 6y to the other side, okay? And then you have another line showing that. So showing the line here is very, very important if you decide to use this method. Typically, what I would teach... Just double-checking. This is recording. And my microphone is Okay, so what I typically will teach in this case, I would basically show everything horizontally. Same method, same operation, but uh, doing the work horizontally. So I know I need to add a 6y to as an opposite of minus 6y on, this, on the right-hand side. So I'll put a plus 6y here. The plus 7 is still there, so I keep it there. Now, the plus 6y that I just recently add, I'm going to put it on this line here. On the left-hand side also, minus 13. So this and this cancels out being 0, and you have 7. 10y plus 6y gives you 10y minus 13. And then same thing here. I want to move the numbers from this side to here. So I will do opposite operation of minus 13. 
So which is plus 13 on this side. And so in this case, I have to also add 13 on the right-hand side here. Minus 13 plus 13 cancels out. So 10y equals 20. The opposite operation of multiplying by 10 is dividing by 10. So 10y divided by 10. 20 also need to be divided by 10. So I have 1y equals 2. Okay. So typically what I will teach, I will teach it this method. Again, you are doing opposite operations, but I would show the work, uh, show the things I add to both sides of the equal sign on horizontally. So this is really the video is the vertical method. What I'm showing is a horizontal method. But if you're going to do the vertical method, make sure you have a line separating. Basically, this is will be the new line after you add 6y to both places. Okay, You add a line here after you add 13 to both sides. So you now have the new line 10y equals 20. Okay. Questions. I'm also looking at six, uh, 4D, uh, which is very similar, to, very similar to the example that I'm going to be showing later on today. So in this case, uh, Kylie expand the bracket. So the two times 11 minus k, 11 minus k. So the two times 11, and then two times minus k. So she has uh, k equals 22 minus 2k plus 14. Uh, and then what she did, she add up the number. So 22 plus 14 gives her 36. So K equals 36 minus 2K. And then she moved the K, the 2K minus 2K from the right-hand side to the left. So in this case, K plus 2K on the left. And then 36 minus 2K plus 2K. So she's basically doing uh, similar to my method, but in this, her question, she has to expand the bracket. Uh, and at the end, she also have K equals to 12. So that is the correct answer, and that's the correct method. Okay. Uh, yes. How does she get 3K? So on the middle step there, on the middle... Uh, for one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth line, do you see k plus 2k equals 36 minus 2k plus 2k? Yeah. So the k plus 2k gives you 3k. Oh. And then the minus 2k, on the, on the right-hand side, minus 2k plus 2k, that becomes zero. So she has 3k equals 36. 3k means three times k, so 30. The opposite is divided by 3, so 36 divided by 3, okay? Questions? All right, for uh, the question at um, 3D, a uh, question 3D that Usku have uh, put up his answer. Now, the answer, it's not quite entirely complete, even though he is on the right track. So I will just finish it. 6K minus 3 minus 2K equals 3. Uh, no, equals K minus 3, sorry. All right, so uh, now he jumped from that line to end up having 3K equals minus 3 plus 3. Now, there's a couple of steps that he didn't show up. He didn't show. So it's a good idea. Remember, when we're solving equations, we want to have at the very end 1k, 1k equals whatever number it is, right? We want to get to that step. So you want to move all the letters, all the k's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. And we do that by doing opposite operation. So here you have a k which is a plus K, 
opposite of plus k will be minus k. So minus k minus 3. Since I do a minus k on this side, I also have to do another minus k here. Uh, minus 3 minus 2k minus k. So minus k minus k cancel out becomes 0. You have minus 3 on this side. Now here you have, this is the one I moved. You have 6k minus 2k that gives you 4k. 4k minus another k gives you 3k. So 3k minus 3. Okay. And then you you want to move this my all the numbers okay onto the other side so in this case the opposite of minus 3 will be plus 3 again minus 3 so this is a plus 3 that i add here to get rid of this minus 3 so i also need to put a plus 3 here this one here Minus 3 plus 3, that becomes 0. So you have 3k. And here, you also would have 0. Now, what we could do is we could do expand it out. So basically, 3k divided by 3 equals 0 divided by 3. 0 divided by anything would give you 0. Okay? 0 but divided by anything would be equal to 0. So the answer should be k equals 0. I don't think he did put that up, but that's okay. Any other questions from yesterday's homework? While I was walking around, I do see a number of people already done example number two on note two. So um, I'm happy to see that. I do. I will go over that one too. Anyways, yes. Three B. 3B, this one? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. 3B from the homework. 11 minus N plus 3 equals 3N plus 3N. Okay? Now, there are a number of things that you could simplify right off the bat because, you know, you have 11, you have a plus 3 on this side. You can simplify that. So that gives you 14 minus N. And then you have 3n plus 3n, that gives you 6n. Okay. So basically, I, I, simp I simplify by adding or subtracting all the like terms. So on this side, I have 14 minus n equals 6n. Now, because I'm teaching you this for the first, you guys are still new to solving equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the letters are on the left. Eventually, the letters will be on the left and the numbers will be on the right. Okay, I'll try to do that. Later on, you'll find that it doesn't matter. So yes, yes. So in this case, I want to move this 6n from the right to the left. So in this case, I need to do opposite operation. Opposite of 6n will be, plus 6n will be minus 6n. And then here I have 14 minus n minus 6n. Okay, I also had to do minus 6n here to equal everything out. This side becomes 0. This side here I have 14 minus 7n equals 0. Now, I want to get move this 14, this plus 14, from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So to do that, I do opposite operation. Opposite of positive 14 would be minus 14, negative 14, minus 7n equals. So since I'm minus 14 here, I also have to do minus 14 here. I need a little bit more space. I scratch that. 14 minus 14 is 0. So I have minus 7n equals minus 14. Minus 7n is the same thing as minus 7 times n. So opposite operation will be divided by minus 7. So 
minus 7n divided by minus 7 equals minus 14 divided by mi minus 7. What I've done here, I also have to do it here. Minus 7 divided by minus 7, that becomes 1, so 1n. Minus 14 divided by minus 7, well, minus divided by minus is a plus. 14 divided by 7 is a 2. So the final answer should be n equals 2, a positive 2. Okay? We good? All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the example number two that was assigned uh, that I didn't go over with you guys yet. Uh, that wasn't assigned yesterday. Okay, I know it's a little tricky. I know it's a little tricky uh, because it does involve things that we recently been doing. But again, it's one of those things where we are trying to build on skills that you have learned before. So let me grab a scrap piece of paper. Okay. So on this question here, the equation 2 bracket 3x plus 2 plus 2 bracket x plus 4 equals 36 represent the perimeter of the rectangle. Represent the perimeter of the rectangle. Basically, remember, perimeter means this side and all the side, this side, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side. Okay? Now, 2A, they say solve the equation. So, I'm just going to copy this here. So, to solve this equation, to find out what 1x is, you do need to expand the brackets, okay? So in this case, very similar to question number four, yesterday's homework, you do have to expand. The two will have to multiply with everything inside the bracket using distributive property. So two times 3x will be 6x. Two times plus two will give you a plus four. Now, this plus 2, remember you always use the sign in front of the number that goes together. This plus 2 times x would be plus 2x. Plus 2 times the plus 4. So in this case, would be plus 8. Okay. I haven't done anything to the right-hand side, so I'm just equals 36. So the first step, I just multiply everything within this bracket on this side. Now, uh, questions so far. Now, the second part, you do need to, the second part, ideally, you would simplify both sides. It's easier to deal with things that are simplified. So you you add and subtract the like terms. 6x plus 2x. Hopefully by now, you kind of can group them in your head. So 6x plus 2x, that will give you a plus 8x. Your plus 4 and plus 8 will give you a plus 12. Okay. So I again, I didn't do anything on the right-hand side, so I'm just copying it down here. Questions so far? Questions so far? So on the last two lines, I expand the bracket, and I simplified the left-hand side of the equation. Now, again, I'm going to... So what I'm going to do now is... Remember, I want to have x on the left and numbers on the y. So... I want to do move this plus 12 to the other side. So I do it by opposite operation. Opposite of plus 12 is minus 12. And since I've done this minus 12 here, 
I have to do minus 12 on the right hand side also. This and this plus 12 minus 12 cancel or become zero. So now you have 8x. 36 minus 12 becomes 24. Again, 8x it's means 8 times x. So opposite of times x, uh, no, times 8 will be divided by 8. So 8x divided by 8 equals, now, since I divide this side by 8, I also have to divide this other side by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So I have 1x here. 24 divided by 8 will be 3. So the first step of this here for question A to solve the equation, that will be 3. Okay? That will be x equals 3. That's 2a. Okay? That's example 2a. Any questions so far? Any questions? Now, the second question, the second part, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So in this situation here, you have a rectangle and this equation, this equation represent the perimeter of the rectangle. Now, uh, can you guys tell me what's generally the formula to find uh, the perimeter of a rectangle? What are usually formulas to find? Formula for perimeter of a rectangle. What is it usually? Yes. Huh? You add up all the sides. True. But on the rectangle, you have two different sides. What are the two different sides? Ben. Close. Okay. Length and width. Yes. Uh, wait till Graydon comes back. Length and width, right? So if you think about it, the perimeter of the rectangle is really, you have two lengths and then you add two widths. Are we good? Are we, is that correct? It's really two lengths plus two width. Do you guys see that? Because if I add all this here, length plus width plus length plus width, it's really two lengths and two widths. You add them together. Any Do you guys see that? Yes. Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Yes. See that? No. Don't see that? Okay. So what do you notice about the equation that they gave us? Yes. So I say again. True. They gave us the perimeter as 36. They gave us the perimeter as 36. But they also show, what do you notice on this other side compared to this side? Yes. Good. You kind of you kind of see that on the equation. They have two times something plus two times something. Okay. It's very similar to like two length plus two width. Okay. Remember, one of the things about math that is important to learn is pattern recognition. You recognize a certain pattern, 
and then you can kind of like ah this might be related or i can do something with that okay so you know this already that the equation they gave you is two times something plus two times something which is the same thing as two times length times two times width so now one of these will be length one of these will be width okay we don't know which one it is so why don't we but we found out what x is right so let's solve 3x plus 2 and then we also solve x plus 4. we know what x is x equals to 3 so we just plug 3 in 3x will be 3 times x plus 2. if you put that in your calculator or if you might do it in your head 3 times 3 is 9 9 plus 2 that's 11. the other side x plus 4 x is 3 so it's really 3 plus 4 that gives you 7. Do you guys follow what I did? So I recognize the pattern of the equation. We know that one of these two things, one of them is length, one of them is width. We don't know which one it is, but we know what x is now. So we saw we plug x into the both sides and solve for it. So we know that this is 11 and x plus 4, this is 7. So typically on a rectangle, the dimension, the longer side would be length, the shorter side would be width. So you can say this, you now have the dimension of the rectangle. It's a 7 by 11 rectangle. They don't didn't tell us what unit it is, so. Any questions? So, yesterday you guys did one, two, four. I just want to see. I want to make sure you guys, again, are solid in these multiple steps. Equations. So, you have five and six. Eight, nine, thirteen. Eight, nine, and thirteen. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do, I also recognize that a good number of people are absent today and they will kind of have to catch up on this. So what I'm gonna ask is I'm gonna ask you guys to do all five um all five maybe skip number six because i don't know how much do you guys know much geometry i didn't know, i don't know whether they how much geometry have they taught in grade seven and eight not a whole lot okay judging from your facial expression so i will skip six for now so five um eight is you're to check this solution and see if this is correct and explain it. You have to write the explanation what happens. And nine. So I'm going to just ask you to do all of five, all of eight, and all of nine. Okay. And I'm going to put that onto the unit planner. Okay. So. The unit planner. So, well, five number. So, note number two still all of five, eight, and nine. Okay. Uh, and for those of you who 
Uh, so for the folks, for those of you who are in person, if you want to see my going through the whole example again, you will be able to find the link of today's of this lesson um, at this part here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna after I process the video, it will be on YouTube and you can watch it a little bit later. On, okay, very similar to this part here. Okay, or very similar to this part here. Any questions? So you guys do have like 15 minutes to get started on this part here. And also if you, this is all still time. If you don't understand something, come up and ask, okay?